are you a victim to a dolby atmos system without getting dolby atmos effect at all well in today's video we are going to tell you how to actually get dolby atmos experience in your home and what are the checklist that you need to be prepared with to ensure that you get this atmos experience in your home but before i begin let me introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta your home cinema technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya and since last 9 years i have been designing home cinema experience along with my team for customers across india and while designing this solutions and installing this solutions we saw that people want to buy home theater but they do not know how to buy where to buy how to go about it how to you know decide between two products and this channel is our effort in ensuring that each one of you is well educated so that you are prepared to buy home theater systems rightly out there in the market also i have got a good news for you that towards the end of the video i am going to share with you how to design a good home cinema experience which is very much into your budget which can give you that most desired experience possible and you can also look out to get more and more options or solutions from our team now how to do that or how to go about it make sure to watch this video till the end how many of you have bought speakers which has the dolby atmos speakers so you have got three speakers in the front two speakers at the back and probably two or four speakers in the ceiling for atmos and this all this is connected with your tv or a projector screen and yet you are not getting dolby atmos experience properly now if you are getting this make sure to hit the like button right now because this video is going to put out lot of facts and hard truths for you at the same time let me know in the comments that what are the products you are using so that i can understand that okay where is the problem in the solution and how can you solve it to get the atmos experience so make sure to use the comment section for it now for the people who are using dolby atmos sound bar with a tv or with a projector screen again and still are struggling to get the dolby atmos signal from this sound bar then again for you make sure to hit the like button leave the comments with your equipment so that i can understand what is the configuration you are using and we can guide you to get the atmos experience from it now if you guys are victims to either of these then we are going to tell you that how really atmos works and what is that checklist that you need to have so that you can get this atmos experience in your home now you have to understand that any experience in audio video system starts from a chain pattern okay so right from the content source till the output device you have to see that all this equipments and the cables accessories connectors that you use are compatible for creating that kind of experience for instance if you have connected your tata sky to your uh, av receiver or to the sound bar now tata sky as a content source is not an atmos driven content source so by default you will not get that atmos experience and probably these equipments will just enhance it to dolby digital plus but you will not get dolby atmos from it so the source plays a very very important role in getting the atmos experience now in case of those of you who are using it with a tv which is a smart tv and in your tv you have got a netflix or a hotstar app or a amazon prime app which has got atmos content and you feel that using the erc cable as you know as mentioned in our videos and you have used that as well and still you are struggling to get the atmos then in such cases make sure that the content subscription that you have done which is that the amount that you have paid to netflix or amazon prime is relevant to the 4k and the atmos standards because netflix has got various plans for 4k and full hd so if you are subscribed to 4k plan then and then only you will get the atmos experience from the netflix channel and for which your tv needs to be compatible with atmos as well as this erc or arc port with the hdmi 2.0b or hdmi 2.1 version cable is connected to your dolby atmos av receiver now if all these things are done right then and then only is where you will get the atmos experience similarly to those of you who are buying a smart projector which has got a built in android tv and you are pulling out the audio from it and connecting it to your atmos sound bar now in such cases you have to see whether the content that you are watching or the projector that you are using is atmos compatible 
because many a times you will be surprised to know that probably it says that it passes atmos signal but it does not support atmos sub signal and that is where your investment on that sound bar will not bring justification because you will not get the atmos experience because at the content source itself you are not getting the atmos content now these devices will amplify or will process the sound to dolby digital plus but they'll not process it to dolby atmos so make sure to have the dolby atmos content at the content source and the hdmi cables you use support dolby atmos signals and at the same time the sound system that you are connecting it to needs to be dolby atmos compatible if all these things are done right then and then only you will get the atmos experience with your system another pain point that i have seen constantly with people is that let's say you are using it with a tv which is a very old smart tv does not have atmos and you have got an av receiver with atmos channels and everything equipped but you are struggling to get the atmos so in such cases instead of using your smart tv the better way is to buy an amazon 4k max fire tv stick or an apple tv product or probably roku media player all these products are atmos compatible connect them directly to the av receiver or to the sound bar and that is how the atmos content with the audio signals will come into the av equipments it will process them and send the atmos signal to the speakers and you will get the atmos experience and the output of this particular sound bar or av receiver will have to be connected to the tv or projector so that you get only video signal which is based upon the video quality or video resolution of your devices which is full hd or 4k on the display so through this you are bypassing the tv as an input source which is not atmos compatible but you are adding this fire tv stick to do this job and with all this you will get your desired atmos experience at a very very less amount of cost and to those of you who are using it with sound bars and with the projector screens make sure that your sound bar is atmos compatible in case your projector is not atmos compatible it does not have erc or arc ports connect the fire tv stick or the media plus directly to the sound bar input and that's how you can actually enjoy the atmos experience now if this trick works for you let me know in the comments below that how it helped you and how you got your best desired output and at the same time make sure to check out the content settings or the sound settings of the content source because this is again one of the most you know challenging thing which we uh, not really check and we complain about not getting the atmos experience so in case you are using a media player make sure to go into the sound settings of that media player see if it is atmos content or if it is 4k at 60 hertz whatever 120 hertz and then make sure that the link is followed through to the next device and that's how you will find or you'll end up getting the desired 4k or atmos experience on your audio or video gear so with all this the primary thing being the content source the list of equipments that you are going to connect it to so the chain of these equipments need to be compatible with atmos and then only the output that will come from these devices will be atmos compatible so i hope that this video finds you helpful in creating the best experience and as promised at the start of the video if you feel that you need more guidance in designing the home theater with the right tools and right steps then make sure to check the link that is shared in the description as well as in the comment so that you and i can also connect as well as you can connect with my team to get your solutions designed from us that's it from my end guys thank you once again for watching i tanmay mehta your home theater wale bhaiya or home technology consultant we'll see you all in my next video thank you